Hello everyone, this is Dr. Iris Franz, a visiting assistant professor of economics at the University of St. Thomas at Houston. Today I'm going to talk about marginal analysis. In economics, we often hear that rational individuals think at the margin. So what is thinking at the margin? We need to understand what margin means. Margin means one additional one additional and i'm going to jump directly into an example so for example today if you go to a party and uh, um, suppose you're over 21 you're thinking about drinking beer now suppose a the party they serve the beer by cans then you're not going to arrive at the party and ask yourself am i going to drink 10 cans of beer today no you don't think that way you think do I want to drink one can of beer now? So when you're thinking about whether you're going to drink a can of beer, you think at the margin, one can at a time. And when you're deciding whether you're going to drink one additional can of beer, you think at the margin. So you think about the marginal benefit and the marginal cost of drinking one additional can of beer. So let's first think about the marginal benefit of drinking a can of beer. So what are the benefit of drinking a can of beer? It will quench your thirst. And maybe the beer tastes good to you, so you're drinking the beer for its taste. And maybe everyone else at the party is also drinking beer, so you feel that you mingle better with your friends if you also drink a can of beer. So you like to mingle with friends. And the beer helps you with that. What about the cost of drinking one extra can of beer? Well, think about that. What are the costs of drinking beer? Well, first of all, for the calories, right? We don't like the calories because the more calories you consume, the longer you will have to stay on the elliptical next day. So we don't like the calories. And maybe also the monetary cost. You're at the party, but you still have to pay for the beer. So um, monetary cost. And after you drink some beer, you probably start to feel tipsy, right? And you may feel sick and perhaps you cannot drive later. And then you will have to wake your parents who are already sleeping when you're partying and then they are going to be unhappy about that. So parents will be unhappy. So these are the benefit and the cause of drinking beer. Now, when you are deciding whether you want to drink one extra can of beer, you think at the margin, right? So do I want to drink the first can of beer? When you just start to drink beer, well, I would say that the benefit is quite high because you just arrived at the party, you feel very thirsty, and the beer tastes very good to you. What about the second can of beer after you finish the first can? I would say the second can of beer, even though it is identical as the first can of beer, but somehow it doesn't taste as good as the first can of beer, right? So we call that um, decreasing marginal utility, but we'll talk about that later. So the marginal benefit of the second can of beer is lower than the marginal benefit of the first can of beer. And if you finish the second can of beer, you continue to drink the third can of beer, even though the third can of beer tastes exact, well, even though the can of beer is exactly the same as the previous can, the second can, but it doesn't taste as good. So you can see the marginal benefit, if you want to draw that on a diagram, the marginal benefit of drinking a can of beer is going down. The more you drink, the lower the marginal benefit. What about the marginal cost? Well, we can see that each can of beer has exactly the same calorie and the monetary cost probably is, a, is the same. They don't charge you more. 
but um, you're going to get more and more tipsy and you're going to get sicker and sicker and eventually when you wake up your parents they're going to get mad so the cause of not so happy parents is probably very high so you can see the marginal cost initially doesn't call, go up a lot but eventually it will go up very high so that's the marginal cost so when you're deciding whether you want to drink one additional can of beer you compare the marginal benefit and the marginal cost so the first can of beer is here you can see hey the marginal benefit is way higher than the marginal cost so you go ahead and drink the first can of beer what about the second can of beer you can see hey the marginal benefit is still higher than the marginal cost so it makes sense for you to drink a second can of beer so when do you stop you stop at the third can of beer where the marginal benefit is exactly equal to the marginal cost and you stop there you will not continue to drink because if you do continue to drink look at the fourth can of beer you get really tipsy you get drunk and you get sick and then you have to wake up your parents and they're angry so you can see that see that marginal cost is higher than the marginal benefit so it doesn't make sense for you to drink the fourth can of beer so you stop at the third can so this is called marginal analysis we use the example of drinking beer suppose you're over 21 again you don't arrive at the party thinking to yourself do i want to drink five cans of beer no you think do i want to drink one beer one beer at a time we call that marginal analysis thank you for watching and good luck